What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here with Ari, Shadowheart, Astarian, and Karlak. We are still at the Goblin Camp. We're right by the leader, Dror Ragzin. We should talk to him, and then we should come up with a battle plan on how to take these uh, goblins out. I kind of just ran around and was just looking at the areas. I didn't go too far in here, but every single area where there is a goblin leader, there seems to be... Well, there's a mind flare right here. There seems to be a war drum, and we need to take that. I think we should take that out before we get in battle, but this one in general? I don't really know. I'm thinking about just storming this guy. Let's talk to him first, and then we'll keep him for last and just storm it. And probably end up killing most of the people here, but then we'll just try to knock him out in the same aspect. We won't knock him out, we'll probably just kill him. And the same thing with... Whatever her name is, the healer lady over here. We'll probably just kill her too. And then the Minthara will probably knock that person out. See what we can do. But before we go in there and talk to him, let's look at Astarian's inventory. I went and I stole every single thing from that merchant over there. I mean every single thing. I mean look at his inventory. He's at like 200. He's got 3,000 gold on him right now. I stole all the money back, <laughs> and I got every single weapon and armor from that person. We need to think about getting rid of this dagger. If you look at it, this dagger is actually pretty bad, 2 to 5, compared to this dagger, which is 5 to 8. So I was looking through that, and I figured, well, we should probably put something else on Astarium. The Ritual Dagger is... it's just a plus 1 dagger. The Ritual Dagger is 5... oh, wait. I think this is because it's offhand. So the ritual dagger is 5 to 8. What is this dagger then? 6 to 9. 6 to 9 plus 1. What does the ritual dagger do? After successful attack with this dagger, the wielder receives a 1 to 4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws until the end of their turn. And that's blood sacrifice. Maybe we should just try it. Keep it on for a while. We don't know what this blood sacrifice even does. Pain is a path to power. Take 1 to 4 slashing damage to receive 1d4 bonus to attack rolls. Do we need that? And on Ori, we're going to have to take another giant hill potion, but we should wait because I'm probably going to long rest here before we get to all the killing. Even though we don't really need to, but I think we should just in case. At least I'm going to long rest after we kill... I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go talk to Halsen, to be honest. Before we get the killing. Maybe. We'll just figure it out as we go. But for now, look, we got 4,500 gold. I stole everything from <laughs> this lady over here, and then I stole everything from the merchant out front. It was really easy. In turn-based mode, Astarian is just god tier because you can just you can just go behind the person, steal everything, right? And then when you're done, you can literally just run away in turn-based mode still with all his other turns and stuff that he can do and you can just exit turn base and just fast travel I was fast traveling with him and the merchant was coming over to me right the merchant would come over to me and be like well somebody stole something and then I would just say well, was it me and they would be like okay you look like you're innocent as long as the story wasn't there then everything was fine she literally has nothing in her inventory <laughs> and the other guy out front I took that one weapon the doom hammer I think it was I just took everything I literally just played on the uh, the loot and brought everyone in besides him and this stole everything again it was really easy i even stole the bone back that we sold to that person so we got one hand crossbow for a story right now but we don't have any more i'm gonna look through this at some point and then just where is the doom hammer i think i might have gave it to carlac already shadow heart has all types of heavy armor on her we're not gonna wear it right now because we're gonna have to change her subclass even wear heavy armor or we can just give her, like, fighter or something. We'll probably just end up giving her fighter if we like this uh, specialization or whatever it's called, subclass. But let's go. Let's do something. Let let us go in here and talk to Drawer Rousen. Oh, shit. We can raise this. Kagrin? Shh. Let's hope this gives us some answers. I feel like that's the best thing to do because, I mean, we showcase stealing already and there's nothing much to it. And I'm just going to do it off camera for now on whenever we want to get something or just loot an area clean off camera after we loot it once. 
Shugan and Shukok, or Taishokek Dors! I command you, corpse. Speak! Reveal truth to the Absolute! Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Shugan and Shukok! The Hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul, he doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Why is it Shadow Heart here? What's going on? Why is it Shadow Heart? I literally walked up with Ari. I would rather it not be anyone besides l literally Ari and maybe Will, because we're the only ones with charisma. Everyone else has literally no charisma. Scroll. Incense. Do you mean to speak with this corpse? Settle in and watch the proceedings. I'm not gonna settle in and watch. Study the corpse. Was this mind flare that tortured you? Maybe, was it? This mind flare's build is smaller. It's garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. I know this magic. Hand me the scroll and I can do the talking. Attack him. We can attack him right here and then let the ceremony proceed. Give me the scroll. Then pal. take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Who killed you? Who was the Absolute? What are you doing in Faerun? What was your killer after? What were you doing in Faerun? Raxlin scowls, shocked by a question you shouldn't have asked, and a jolt shoots through you. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. I saw it too, Gith on the hunt. They know something. Maybe. Why were the gift chasing the ship? Who was the absolute? Oh, we should see that. Who killed you? Why were the gift chasing the you ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. Who was the absolute who killed you? Yeah, who was the absolute? You see an image. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth, dripping blood. You see other mind flares arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Raxlin's mind rages. You have asked what no true soul would dare. You, you're no true soul. Persuasion. It's a mistake. I'm a true soul. Remember, we're connected. Rush yourself into his mind. Detect thoughts. Cast detect thoughts. Let's. Oh, fucking hell. Minus one persuasion. A ten. Ah. All right, Carlyle. Hit me with the good stuff, please. 20! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. 
You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Can you do your own dirty work? Consider it done. Can't you do your own dirty work? Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. <laughs> You heard me talk to Minthara yourself, attack the Hobgoblin. Fine, fine, I'll talk to Minthara, sure. Falling in line. Just what I like to see. Now, come back and kill you. Charlatan, Devil's Advocate. <laughs> Good job, uh, Shadowheart. You know your way with things. I didn't want to ask him about the weapon or who killed you because... He was wanting them answers, and I don't want him to get what he wants, right? Let me look and see what that was for Astorian. Astorian, where the hell are you? There you are. Interrogate the dead Mind Flayer without drawing suspicion. We definitely drew suspicion, that's for damn sure. Which one of these guys did we talk to already? Gary? That was intense. I wouldn't want to bump into that thing while it was still alive. But hobgoblins give you no pause. Someone needs to keep an eye on these buggers. I don't make a habit of questioning the absolute. Now quiet. Oh, that's pretty smart then. Can't slow down. Where's your other friend at? Because I wanted to talk to him. There you are. That's definitely an armory. Oh man. We need to get in there. Somehow, some way. Maybe we should have went in here first. Well, we're going to wait anyway because we're probably going to end up. I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. I doubt True Soul Minthara has much patience left. She's going to fucking wait. We've already talked to her. We done beat you to the punch, pal. Let's go talk to Ragzin once more, and then all these other gabos. <laughs> gabos. I guess that's what they're called. From Will, anyways. Right. Draw Ragslin's a true soul. Oh, look at him, eh? Yeah, he's a sight to be seen, I swear. We're not gonna loot the Mind Flayer because I guess it's stealing. Thought you Drow were supposed to all be at the towers. We'll be at the towers, I think, one of these days. Shh! Boss! Okay, okay, okay. Damn, I wanna loot that Mind Flayer. Your drowness. We'll loot the Mind Flayer at some point because we'll probably come back and end up killing death. all these fucking people. Unless you're the absolute themselves, I'd leave Ragslin alone. He ain't in no mood for nothing. I understand. There's a war drum here. There's a war drum here. We're gonna have to knock out that war drum when we come in and this war drum before we. Damn, there's a chasm here. We can just. We could probably just go up here with Karlak and no, just fucking right push his ass off into the fucking unknown. Well, Though we'd have to steal from him first, probably, before we do something like that. Not the time for it here! Hey, man, I thought we were best friends. Alright, let's go uh, talk to What's-Her-Face and kill her. <laughs> we're probably not gonna talk to her. I need to figure out a way to... How are we gonna get her? There's a war drum here as well. We need to just take these fucking war drums out, man. Just knock them out. Shit, man. If all else fails, we're gonna wind up killing this whole fucking place. I just don't see no other alternative, friends. I really do not. Let's get everyone in here and we're gonna have to figure out. I'm just gonna surround her ass. I didn't see any war drums in here for her to beat on the war drum. I think there's only one out here, and she would need to go all the way out there to even do it. So let's just close this door, go over to her, and just surround her ass and beat the bloody hell out of her. <laughs> I don't know. 
what else to do? I mean, that's a good idea, right? We could hold person so she can't get out to the war drum. Isn't there something... Shadowheart, what do you have? Shadowheart has some spells. Nobody even has hold person right now. Does Shadowheart even have hold person? Let's get rid of... Inflict wounds. Silence. Create a soundproof sphere. All within are silence and immune to thunder damage. A soundproof? That would be interesting if she called for help. But then again, if we hold person, hold a humanoid enemy still, they can't move, act, or react. They can't- let's we'll just hold person, we'll hold person. We'll check out this whole person. Or the silence, though. If we surround her and we get a silence, then she's immune. It's a soundproof sphere, she can't even speak. Maybe we should soundproof the sphere and just- If we block her in, she can't move. Unless she jumps over us. We'll do this. I think that's a perfect idea. Just in case she would yell or something. But then again, the same can be said about every single one of these fucking people. God damn it. Alright, are you right there. Let's go into turn-based mode. Actually, let's not. We'll what just now? get... Everyone to surround her. No time to dally. Shadow heart here. Carlac, I didn't really want you. I know we can just take people off. Let's do it. Let's take people off for now. Carlac here. Shovel, you little beast over here. Still Get back alive. to Ori. So that's progress. Get everyone back in. Do not move. I don't think we need the passive zone. Let's just kill her ass. I'll get. We'll just kill her, because I want to loot her. And then from here, we'll go in the turn-based mode. And should we cast Silence What's from Shadowheart it? first? You even have Silence? Yeah, you have it. Let's do Silence, but don't it, doesn't it silence us? We should have just hold person. Let's just try that. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Let me get your ass whooped. Good. Who's going first? Historian. All right, let's whoop her ass, Historian. Hit her with the good stuff. <laughs> Fifteen. That's not too bad, Historian. Not bad at all. Bonus action. This is a bonus action. Let's let's do the hit first. <laughs> Three. Hey, Historian, you're really raining it in, my friend. We can do bonus action again. Woo! Astorian damn near killed her already. <laughs> well, who else? Oh, Shovel, you gotta make that hit so she can't get out. I'm thinking about just basic attacking her to hell with everyone. Honestly. So we're not using stuff. But then again, I plan on long resting. Well, shit, I already planned on long It doesn't matter. How about we just do... Defensive Flourish? We'll do Defensive Flourish. Oh, she is almost... She's literally fucking done in a second. Blinded. She's blinded. She is stuck in this bubble. She's surrounded. I'm heating up. <laughs> hey, Carlag, I don't want you to rage. I guess it don't matter, but... Just whoop her out. Carlac has an extra hit. She's done right here. <laughs> well, that was way easier than I thought. She didn't even get a turn. Thanks to Historian just whooping her. We got this silence though. Can't cast, can't speak or cast spells within the verbal component. This is immune to thunder damage. Are we gonna have to put her in our pocket and move her ass? What now? We can't cast spells, though. Can we loot her? Can't pick up. She's too heavy. Fucking hell. Can oh, Carlac, like you pick her meal. ass up? <laughs> if you insist. Carlac, don't pick her ass. Pick her ass up. We're unsilenced now. 
All right, Carlac, go ahead and drop her ass. Right here. Should we hide her or just toss her off the fucking thing? We should probably toss her down there after we loot her and speak to the dead. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting Let's times. Let's loot her first. She's got all types of shit. Absolute Warboard. It gives you heroism. Priestess's key is probably for the priestess's quarters. Then she has another Mind Flayer Parasite specimen. I don't really know what to do with these. They're... We can sell them for a hundred gold, but... Crude Mace? Equipped by True Soul Gut. Absolute's Mercy. If the wearer bears the Absolute's brand, they have advantage on death saving throws. Absolute's Talisman Aid. You get aid from this? I think we should wear this. Give Ari aid? Uh, yes please. We're gonna give Ari this aid. And then, who doesn't really have a necklace? Astarian, you have... Resistance to slashing, vulnerability to bludgeoning. Shadowheart has... Oh, she's got dancing lights. That's the, that's the one that she had. Let's give this to... I don't know. Will, I guess? Maybe? And then we'll give this one to Shadowheart. They don't provoke... Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Here, Shadowheart, you do something with that one. What's next, I wonder? We'll put that one on you. And then... Let's get going. And we just destroyed her, and no one's coming after us. The silence was probably overboard. We probably didn't even need to do that. We should have just held person. I don't know. The silence seems interesting. I mean, might as well keep it on Shadowheart. I think I'm gonna put the whole person on Ori. Not as bad as it could have. Let's raise her ass. Let's see what the hell she's got going on. True soul. Yes. The corpse seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Let us. We got aid now, friends. How cool is that? That's so fucking cool. We'll put this over here somewhere by a heel. Oddbar assignments? Yeah, we've already... Well, thank you. Where is the helmet? There it is. Let's go into a halfling. Sure, why not? True soul gut. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hey, Gut, how are you? Who are you? What happened to you? Where do you keep your valuables? Who kills you? Where are you from? What's your purpose here? Yeah, what's your purpose? Absolute priestess. Where you keep your valuables? We can ask her who killed her. Where are you from? Who was the Absolute? Gut, who are you? What happened to you? Who killed you? What happened to you? Dead. Infidel. <laughs> the spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. We didn't really get anything from her. So she locks all her valuables up in here, probably. Alright, well, let's get out of and shapeshift. Let's get our helmet back on. What were, what were we even wearing? I think we were wearing the haste helmet. I know we got the bard one. Where's the bard helmet at? Right here. The thing is, when you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also gain 1 to 6. We're not using bardic inspiration. I don't think we can use bardic inspiration because, hear me out, if we use this bardic inspiration and it lasts until a long rest, right? We hit everyone with bardic inspiration right now. That's 3 uses a bardic inspiration. That means we can't use slashing flourish. I tried it. <laughs> I saved before the episode. Well, before the episode I came in, I popped the reload. I wanted to see what happened if I hit everyone with this bardic inspiration. It would literally 
we weren't able to press this anymore. So if we, we either had to pick and choose, either you hit Bardic Inspiration on somebody or you pick a Defensive Flourish or Slash and Flourish, whatever one of these you want to do, because this uses Bardic Inspiration. You only have like three turns to use it, three or four. The thing is, we can hit people with this and then probably short rest, and then they'll still have that on them and then we'll be fresh. So we can do it like that, but we're going to waste a short rest in a sense. So, I mean, that's the kind of, that's kind of the way I look at it. Let's pick up Gut and just what toss next? her ass down this fucking thing. <laughs> sorry, Gut. Sorry, I guess not sorry. Jasm, ah. Can't throw her. Didn't Gut just have a note? Let me read this note. The slobber chops druid who uh, was nosing around ain't just some tomb raiding adventurer type. Calls himself Halsing, ugly name for an ugly bastard. I had a little word or two with him before the lashers put his hairy ass in the pens. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us, inside me. Reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. Never did, and especially not now, the absolute's taking a shine to us. I say is there'll be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down there in the pens, and uh, when we cut him open, I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. What is updated? Defeat the goblins. We kill Priestess Gut, one of the goblin leaders. There's a couple more. Rescue the Druid Halsen. We discover that the Druid Halsen was... Here in the goblin camp and claim to be able to remove their parasite. If he's still alive, he might be able to help us, of course. Let's just Damn, do something with the gut. We can't throw her off, Up obviously. Two. Silence. We're silenced now. I guess we can just toss her behind here. Can we put her in anything? How about you just go up here, Karlak? That might be worth a look. Burrow hole? Holy fucking shit. There's a burrowed hole here, though. We're just gonna put her ass up here. We can throw her in there. Let's put her up here. They won't know she's up here. Well, not get thrown if you jump down. Now, though. Minus three health. Three. Well, oh well. Still alive. Let's go. So that's progress. I mean, we can go inside of here. We can open this up at least. I mean, we're gonna wind up dealing with all the people here anyway. I think we should go and deal with How much the people here go? first, and then we'll come back to this because this leads us to. What does this say? This leads us open the door to the night song. We need to open the door to the night song. That's going to lead us to the night song. But the night song was in the underdark, though, right? When we were down the underdark, it was pinning where the night song was. So maybe that's another entrance into the underdark. I'd imagine. Let's get everyone out here and then close this damn door. Hey, friend. Are you friendly? I guess they are. No one even cares about Priest's guts, dead ass. <laughs> fucking care okay i guess we did it right actually i'm happy about that let's go over here and go down to halzen where the fuck's halzen i think it was over here right yeah let's go check on to halzen i think we should i think we should just go talk to him we're going to check on halzen we're going to come out and i think we're going a long rest after that after we check on halzen though we might just be releasing halzen and having him with us, I guess? Maybe? We're about to find out, honestly. About to see what the hell's going on here. We just go in here. Work pens. Are you good or what? Steal something. Or all right the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. It'll be fun. I promise. You're gonna love throwing me in the brick then. How are we going to get Halls in out? We got to kill everyone here? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I'm looking for a Halsey. Three. There he is. He'll be right there. Maybe we can... Is there any war drums in here? 
Lever, we can hit the lever. Fucking hell, friends. We're gonna have to kill everyone in here. There's a fucking kid down here, though. I guess we can talk to these people. Either cause some trouble or bugger off. Oh, we already talked to you. Hey, three. See? It squealed! <laughs> Hit it again! Keep your hands steady, three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! Time to free. He's helpless, let him go. What the hells are you doing? Sharper stones might cut through that fur. Turn away. He's helpless, let him He's go. He's staying right here. The beast came in here with those robbers. Killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. Wisdom, let him go. I'll take care of the beast. Putting the end to this now. Got one then. Aim for his eye. Stop it. We can use this. I don't know if I want to use this power, friends. I just don't want to give in to the, the tadpole. Or does Is this giving in to it? Because I don't know. I feel like it might be. Go on then. Stop it. How dare ya! Release me! Get rid of them! Attack the goblins, throw a rock at the bear, lead the bear to the goblins' mercy. Guess we're attacking. Time for blood! So he could have did that the whole time. I have to fight this kid. There's no way I'm killing this kid, friends. I just ain't doing it. We got people hostile all over the fucking place. But only in here. I think if we leave here, it will be fine. There's no way I'm killing this kid. Let's knock the kid out. Oh, man. They're actually making us fight a kid. <laughs> fucking hell, man. That's pretty rough. Well, to the death. I feel dirty doing this right now. Sorry, you weren't able to you weren't able to knock the kid out. Well, I don't want Shovel to hit the kid. Shovel, there is there's somebody else. One? It was one. Oh, one is right here, it's another kid. We can't have Shovel do it. Damn, Astorian, you only needed seven damage, my friend. How did you miss? Still on my feet. Well, Ari, I guess. I'm just gonna offhand attack this one. What the fucking fuck? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, that kid's knocked out at least. That's good, I guess. We'll go over here and that one tries to move then. Well. Whoa. Get worse on your, for yourself. <laughs> Just don't go outside the door, please. Because we're gonna wind up having to kill everyone here, or just knock out the whole fucking camp. I just have a feeling. I'm trying to take the kids out first. At least knock the kids out, I guess. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> fucking hell, we're knocking kids out. We're beating kids up. What the fuck is going well, on, well. man? What are we doing? <laughs> Tenacity? When you miss an attack, deal three bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's from the weapon itself. Ooh, how you like that, Spidey? Need to stay focused. I guess we can rage, and we should very well rage. Shadowheart? Scorching Bay. Wait a second here. Let me do this Radiance of Dawn. Oh, you gotta be in range of it, though. 
That's fine. How about we jump over? Does it do attack on opportunity? It does. We will disengage then. Huh. Have to keep going. Go over here and do this radiance thing. Well, I guess we're not. Instead, I guess we'll get out the great sword. Get the great sword over there. That was a wasted turn, my friend. Sure the fuck hell fucked up. <laughs> Wait, there's wards. Listen, if you guys could have broke down the cages before, why didn't you do it? Oof, Spidey. Damn. Paulson's getting jacked up already. Where's his health at? He's almost fucking dead. Halsen, you... Uh, yeah, you better heal yourself. Don't you go dying on me now, Halsen. I got a shovel. No, you couldn't have. How could you? I guess we can just work on this one. Sure. Ooh, what a good miss. Damn it. Astorian, my friend. I really need you to... Let's work on the Make spider, sure. Astorian is really kind of not doing well. And he does an offhand nine. Maybe it's the weapon. I know the weapon's not that great. We probably should go to another weapon. I mean, any finesse weapon on Astarian will work. I mean, we can use that axe, probably. Or just... See, my thought process on rogues is that as a rogue... Unless you're a fighter-type rogue, if you're like an assassin, snaky type, and looking for sneak attacks, you would always figure that daggers would be the best way to go. Fully. Right? And if daggers aren't the best way to go, then... If it don't matter about the sneak attack bonus for daggers, if there's none, then we should just go to the weapon with the most damage, which would probably be short swords and axes and stuff, right? Does that make sense? Let's way. get a little closer with this Starian over here. Shovel, do your thing. Hey, a hit's a hit. Where do I go from here? We're gonna have to get Ari in, so let us do bonus action. Let's get Connor's dead ass in over here. Took up an action though, unfortunately. I wanna heal Halls in. A little bit more, just to I'm gonna take Ari up here and work on this forward. one. You guys work on them ones, Ari, Halls in, and Connor. Is gonna work on this one over here. Hell, you think you're going, bub? Warcaster, opportunity spell, shocking grass. We can do opportunity attack. Or we can do. Let's do Warcaster. I'm curious. That motherfucker is dead. We done killed him. Shadowheart, you're casting abilities now. Oh, sure. Adrenaline wash. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath for two turns. You have a plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons for every turn this condition has remaining. Oh, that's really, really good. It's furry, frilly, furry boots. Shadowheart, are just gonna steal this? Let's not steal it right now. I didn't want to kill him. I didn't mean to kill him. Shadowheart just crit like a beast. We'll just loot it at some point. We can't do anything about it right now. Let's rage. Rage, bear heart, my friends. Let's do it. And Soldier. then... Ooh, we're electrocuted. That was a beast of a... Of a thing, Shadowheart. Enough resources. What? What? No. We missed. Got him that time. Shall we do it again? Got him that time. <laughs> Shadowheart, we need you to... Well, I guess all we can do is just hit him. We can't use magic. Critical miss. Let's heal. Carlac. These things are going to be coming out soon. Don't you hit Connor. 
Thorian is stuck in that shit. Does the blade... Will the blade knock him out? Probably not, honestly. Olsen's probably not knocking this guy out. He's probably killing him. Did he just heal himself? <laughs> just motherfucker just knocked himself prone. <laughs> no Alright, he's knocked out. Good. What does he got on him? Nothing. Man, killing all these people might even be... I hate to say it, it might even be the way to go. Because we're going to get so much loot, probably. I'm going to see if I can get over here and bite this guy. Grease saved. Damn, can't. What I can do is I can dash, cutting dash, over to him, and then see if I can bite him. Get that happy. Still ran. Oof. Really good. Shovel? I guess I'm going to take you up here. I'm going to try to get them to, to rush through. Let's put you in a stealth shovel. No choice but to keep going. Ari, your turn, your time to shine, my friend. So let's go ahead and hit the defensive flourish. Honestly, let's not. Let's save it. We'll save it for when we attempt to go deal with Minthara. You know why we're missing so much? And I'll tell you why we're missing so much. Maybe not on the main hand. We have this weapon here, and it's a versatile weapon. And we don't have the giant hill stuff on us at all right now. Maybe we should take it. We need to put another finesse weapon on Ari and not just worry about strength. Because I think we're missing because, well, let's just be honest. Now, Thorin, you have any kind of finesse weapon here? This is a light weapon... I'm pretty sure he has a finesse something. What the hell is it? I have a finesse axe somewhere. Go to a dagger on Ori. It's finesse. Do we really want to go to a dagger though? It might make him... It's a light weapon. It's not finesse though. Does it matter? It's light finesse. Dagger plus one. Let's send us to Ori. Still breathing. Can Just you put that dagger everything. on Ori? This one in offhand does one to six damage. And it's got something. Oh, we can't do it right now. That's fine. We'll give that to Ori because I don't want to take the giant hill stuff right now. I want to think about some things with the bill. We'll discuss it at the end, All of right, course. Karlak, it's go time. Alright, Carlac, go ahead and just jump over here and see if you can knock this fella out. Oh, you're really rolling. Look at her. <laughs> Or this lady. Good hit, Karlak. This extra attack, is this just exclusive to Barbarian? Because it is, if it is, that Barbarian is fucking nuts having this extra attack. Or is that the the power level? You know how Barbarians get it at 5? Does everyone get it at 5? Well, we obviously did not on the Bard. We might get it at 6. Knock that one out. Karlak, for the win. Under their noses. My faith will protect me. These wargs, let's just blow them the hell up. Let's use fireball. We missed. We could have used the real fireball, though. Which is all fine and dandy. I want to have them come to us. Let's get out of Greece, so have them come to us. Ooh, smart. I was thinking they were going to come through here, but no, they're not stupid. Don't you hit holes in. Connor! Whoop their ass. <laughs> Any damage is damage, friends. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as there's they got some kind of damage going on here. Okay, we can't do nothing with that. Ooh. Halsen done wrecked that thing. Holy hell, Halsen. What a fucking monster. Astorian's kind of hurting a little bit here. How about we cunning... Dash. Let's move. Up here. And see if we can it just save. Why did it just save? Why the hell did it just auto save? Is there something up here? Story wise? Ah shit, man. Okay. 
Fucking hell. Maybe we can't do it. Putting Dash over here. There we go. 95%. That was a pretty good hit, Astarian. Can we get Shovel out? Uh, probably don't matter. Holzen's gonna wreck this thing. Or Ori. On Ori, I guess we'll go to that dagger now, right? Dagger plus one. It does five to eight damage. This one's doing one to eight. We can't do anything. This one does five to eight damage, and this one does one to eight damage. So what's the point in wearing this one? We wear this one, it gets buffed by dexterity. Yeah, that was a really good idea. Ari, we can't really do much with you, my friend, so I guess we'll just jump if we can. And just kind of take this thing out. Ah, uh, you don't lost your now turn, really. This is really my much happy going. place. Carlac. Can you jump down do here? It. I guess you can. Jump behind him. Whoop his ass. <laughs> Carlac, some wrecking with that mace. <laughs> or mall hammer. We should have used this thunder wave. Shock wave. Let's put it on for next time, at least. Let's finish this. Shadow Heart. I'm just trying to use basic stuff right now. I'm not trying to use anything. Because I have a feeling the next fight is going to be way harder. And I'm trying to just save stuff. Man, you knocked out my temporary hit points. Get him, Connor. Connor's just chilling. Blade. Can't do shit with the blade. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halsen. You're Halsen? The master Halsen of Emerald Grove? I spoke to Nettie, she said you could help me with the parasite in my head. I've heard you're an unmatched healer. I need your help. I've been to the Emerald Grove, it's in danger. Halsen, the master of the Emerald Grove? Yes, but just Halsen will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. I've been to the Emerald Grove, it's in danger. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? No. <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I don't know. I escaped an illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted? I think this artifact has something to do with it. I don't know. We can say this or the artifact, but are we going to trust them? Maybe we should trust them? I think this artifact has something to do with it. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. 
Tell me what you learn about the tadpole origins. The magic isn't typical of how mind flayers procreate. This is all for nothing? No, I don't think it's all for nothing. You learned all this from your studies? You learned all this from your studies? Indeed. After we dealt with the drow that ambushed us, Nettie and I were able to inspect the corpse and the creature that slithered out of it. I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. Sympathies won't help me survive, no. The magic you mentioned, it isn't normal for these parasites? I don't think it is, no. I'm still kind of worried that we told him about the artifact. I know we just said it, and we done talked a little bit. <laughs> Proceeded the conversation with him, but I feel like I want to trust him. I don't know. I just feel like we should. I feel like he's the key to getting rid of our tadpoles. Out of all the people, I feel like he's the key. The magic you mentioned, it isn't normal for these parasites. No, this is different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. Then everything we did was hopeless? No, it wasn't. What should we do? I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Altered parasites? A cure at Moonrise Towers, maybe? Sounds like guesswork at best. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? Oh, we can ask them? Yeah, you, why don't you come with us? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Look around you, there's no order anymore. It's only chaos. Kaga was swayed by shadow druids. She's nearly sealed a grove. Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drow Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them. And nature will cure itself. Drow, you are aware you're asking me to kill a drow. Having a shape-shifting druid at my side might make things easier. I'll deal with this. You get the safety. The grove isn't my problem. You're asking too much? I can help. I mean, having a shape-shifted druid at our side might make things easier, yeah? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Yeah, you stay here then. It's just I was just thinking about that because I don't think we can... He was wrecking everyone. He... Well... <laughs> If we weren't careful with the other goblins, goblins, he would have probably killed him because I don't think he can just knock him out. So stay May here. Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. I don't want him in the party for Minthara, at least. Because if you think about it, well, first of all, I wanted to fucking long rest. But now that we knocked out all these people, we can't long rest. Because if we long rest... We are going to come back and have to kill these fucking people, if you think about it. Yeah, if we long rest, we're going to have to we're going to have to kill these people. Let's not long rest. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger, thanks to them. We have everything we need. Tell me what you know about yeah. Tell me what you know about Moonrise. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. 
I'm something of an expert when it comes to in periling myself. Don't make it sound so tempting. I already know you'd rather I stayed and helped you. Just the information, please. What's so dangerous? Yeah, what's so dangerous about to it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Sounds like I have no choice. I need to find a way through. The absolute forces can tolerate such a place? Yeah, that's that makes... I'm curious. So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers, through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias. Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius. I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers, and may bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. That makes sense, Drow. I know the Underdark, it's lethal. I'll travel overland. The Underdark's my home, better take that route than risk the curse. What would you do? Yeah, the decision you do? is yours, but I'd favor the Underdark. Even a place like that is the lesser evil compared to the Shadow Cursed Lands. Yeah. You know, Drox, my home, better to take that route than to risk the curse. Yeah, I think that's Anything the curse. is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. Yeah. The passes through the Underdark? What business do you have at Moonrise? You said you'd go there if you could. Yeah, what My business there began long ago and has led to a lifetime of regret. I helped overthrow Kethrick Thorm and his Dark Justice years, years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. But the Grove must come first, I'm afraid. I definitely understand. How do I find the passage to the Underdark? Is that why you went to Alderaan? You thought he might uncover this route to Moonrise? Maybe. But you were still looking for this artifact, though. We're gonna help him save the Grove first anyway. I'm sorry I can't do more, thank Well, is this why you went to Alderaan? Precisely. Aridin? Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. I don't find passages with the Underdark. We already asked them this that we know. Sorry, I can't do more, thank you. Maybe let the grow at this, or maybe I won't, but fine. I'll help you say the gross. Yeah, we will. You will. Oak Father bless you. I'll be in your debt twice over if we succeed. You know what's needed. The deaths of Draw Ragslin, the Drow Minthara, and the Priestess Gut. May nature guide you. I could come and help you, but be warned. I won't be able to suppress my animal side. Subtlety will not be an option. Stay here. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Stay here for now. Let me look at all these updates in the journal. Main quest, travel to Moonrise Towers, travel through the Mountain Pass. Olsen told us there was a way to Moonrise Towers through a Mountain Pass, but that it may be dangerous, of course. Travel through the Underdark. A room in the Old Temple Saloon contains a secret entrance to the Underdark. Through it, we can reach Moonrise. I mean, 
already know how to get into the Underdark. Say the refugees came up with something, saved the first druid. We saved a large bear and ended up being the druid Halsim himself. He asked us to kill the goblin leader so he can restore peace to the grove. We will do that. We're going to deal with the grove stuff. Daughter of Darkness, something came up in here. Shadowheart has shown interest in finding the lair of the dark just this year. An elite force dedicated to her goddess, Shar. Shadowheart revealed to us that she has long dreamed of becoming a dark Justicier. That word's so hard to say. Her mother superior always thwarted her ambitions, however. Everything else we've already got. Hey, Halzin, how are you, my friend? Path lies before Halzin me. seems pretty interesting. Does he not? Well, let's not blow that up. Really, I can just toot the game non-stop. But, we're gonna take this. The uh, voice acting's really good. Halzen's got a great voice actor, too. This guy's knocked out. Yeah, if we long rest, we are not going to be able to deal with what we're gonna have to deal with. Honestly. We should not long rest right now. Well, we can't long rest right now. Prison key? Hey, prison key. Okay. What were they doing here? We're going. We're going to be over encumbered here soon, probably. Wait. Beastmaster's chain? Animal friendship. This gives us animal friendship. Who should we give this to now, though? Karlak has the guidance stuff. I guess we can give it to... Zale? Sure. That was really, really good. Fur. Let's go loot fur. Friends, we have all these other areas to just go into. As well. Prison key. Let's take that. All right, well, we can go up here. Let's see what this does. Evidence chest. Nothing. And nothing. Unlocked. What is in here? Dead elf. Heavy stone. Reese. What is this dead elf? Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Will the body free investigate? Inspect the body. Let's inspect. Five, uh, sure. Why not? You notice the corpse is very dead, but that's all. <laughs> you rolled a one on the skill. A critical failure, critical failing on a skill. Yeah, let's leave. Um. My faith will guide me. The well, historian. Hello. 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 Decaying legs protrude from the hole. Let's investigate. A failed escape, it seems. Nineteen. There we go. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. Crooked heart? What does that mean? Pull the body free. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Do we want to? Oh, we can raise him. Not as bad as it could have. Let's raise this fella. I guess we can loot him now, too. Nothing. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Why is there a heart on one of your shoes? I yeah, we gotta ask this. My son Garland did it. If I ever missed him, could look down and Remember him. Oh, that's really cool. All 
How did you get trapped in a tunnel? Were you the only prisoner? Goblins here? took my friends, cut them up for the walks, for meat. Damn, goblins are kind of rough, aren't they? How'd you end up here? Who are you? Taglin, carpenter, father of two. How did you get trapped in a tunnel? Is he just gonna say that it fell? How did you end up here? Heading to Baldur's Gate. Didn't hear Goblin Patrol. Oh, we can ask him. How did you get trapped in a tunnel? Digging too quickly. Felt tunnel collapsing. Kept going. Better dead than. Walk meat. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well, we got something. That was really interesting. We could definitely get a way out this mysterious hole. We're not big enough, of course. Best be stone. We'll loot some of that stuff later. I don't think anything else is needed. Shouldn't need to worry. We got a lever here, we got the other... I mean, what did you have in here? Wait, there's a door here. Where is this lead? I don't want to go. Some health potions. Wait, that's up. And... And this is really hard to see in here. We got all types of camp supplies here. Nope, not that. Are we over encumbered? Oh, how? Let me deal with this inventory again. These gloves here, we can put them on. What does Ari's gloves do? Missile snaring? Oh, that missile snaring is so good. What does this do again? Wrath? Melee weapons? See, the missile snaring is so good, though. What a charmer. Carlac, what do you got on? Gloves of. Oh, she's not even a paladin anymore. Rest. Let's put that on Carlac. You know, I've been thinking about our stuff, Don't our build, a bit. And I've been thinking about. Well, this is boots. What does boots does she have on? Vaulting? Oh, it's boots. It's not. I've got a lot of boots that we have on. I don't think we need them boots now. You're giving them. We're gonna take them frilly boots back because we don't need these boots. We're not even dashing that much. This is better on a Starian, and we'll just wear these frilly boots. They don't match whatsoever, but they sure the hell are something. Anyways, I've been thinking about our build some. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna play out this barbarian gig, but just know. That we did start the game as a barbarian, and we had some good times as barbarian. But if it don't work out, I'm like saying it right now that we're gonna end this game as a bard for sure. We're not specking out of bard anymore. Like we're just not gonna do it. I love. I think I just love the class bard so much, for the main character at least. And I feel like Ari, it kind of works out if you think about it. Okay, Ari started off as a barbarian type fighter, in a way. Then he met Alfira and he learned the bardic stuff. And that changed him. That whole experience has changed him completely. And going in RP wise, I feel like at this point, him changing to a bard fully is in memory of her because he really liked her, you know? And then having to do what he did is always gonna mark him. It's always gonna mark him and it's always, he's always gonna have to deal with the pain of what he did, of course. So to help with the pain, he's honoring her by becoming a bard and that's what we fully are doing the thing is if barbarian don't work and i've been just thinking about like how i don't really want to couple the same classes with people i think i'm definitely going to keep carlac as a barbarian 100 percent. but if we don't go back to barbarian for ari like i said i know we started the game as such but the game allows us to just change and we're kind of changing up rp but we're not changing up rp because we're, we are fleshing our character out right now you know, we're fleshing our character out with the story itself. We created a foundation for the character in the beginning. 
But now that we keep going, we are creating something more for the character. More of a story, if that makes sense. We're fleshing out more of his RP. Anyways, what I'm getting at is, I'm thinking if we don't end up using Barbarian, which we probably will. I was looking all, at all the one and done abilities because what I wanted to do was six Bard, six Barbarian, one, or six Bard, five Barbarian, and one into something else. If you if you one and done a, a class, I think the best one and done class is probably Warlock. Or maybe Fighter. Because Fighter would give you a stance or something. That I was looking at all of them. I was looking at one and dones. It seems like Warlock will get Eldric Blast and we can pick like the Fiend or something like that, which is cool. Anyways, what I'm getting at is... When I was doing some respecking with Ari, I was... I went by the camp off camera and I was just doing respecking. Just looking at what would happen if we took this class to five. This class to five, this class to five. It seems to be... That... With Ari, if we go six in the Bard, which we're going to... Then we do at least two in the Paladin. I think he's going to be so fucking powerful. Then we can just finish off with Bard. When I'm looking at Paladin... With Sword Bard here, we might just want to go two into Paladin. And then finish off with something else. See, that's going to be unfortunate because the power creep for Paladin is like two. When I was looking, I took the Paladin to five. It looked like two was just really where the power is. And then after that, it's still powerful. But when you hit level two, you get all them smites. And I feel like coupling smites with Bard is going to be so good. Not to mention Paladins are charisma based. And we are charisma based. And we can do, we can basically do six here. See, I was thinking to do six and then five Barbarian and then one in the Paladin, but one in the Paladin's not as useful as two in the Paladin. We at least need two in the Paladin. I don't know, but I think Barbarian might be just Ari's past subclass, <laughs> I think at this point. I don't think we're really going to use it too much anymore. I want to, but I think it might be time to just know like change up just go with the rp because i feel like a paladin especially with the way he's working and the way he's doing things is really fitting i mean barbarians fits too because well we fucking started the game as a barbarian which does make me kind of conflicted but in a sense i really just you know, i really just want to keep carlac as as barbarian i want that to be her thing i don't want a couple of the same classes you know, I'm going to really max her out of Barbarian. And if we end up romancing her, we're going to take her every fucking where. And we're going to have two Barbarians in the party. And I don't know if I want to do that. Roll against good and evil. But it's just something. This is just rough draft stuff. It's rough draft stuff. But I think at this point, Ari is going to end up being... I know the Barbarian was so cool of an idea. And we can still try it at some point, I think. And we probably... We probably will. We can still just try it and see if we can actually build it. But I don't really think it's going to be crazy powerful. It might be fun, but I'm thinking it might be funner to just do Paladin Smite. We'll have to figure something out. We might just go two into Paladin and fucking fully max out Bard. I think that might be the way to do it. If you want my opinion. We got experience. Already gains experience. Look, they don't even care. What Travel are they through. delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Wow. Wants to know exactly where the room in the old temple the saloon. Wait. Found old temple saloon. Entrance in the underdark. It must be somewhere. So I get it. Yeah. Well, it's over here. It's got to be where the night song stuff is. Over in her office. Let's get over to Minthara's area. And then I'm going to save. I'm not going to go forward with dealing with Minthara. I have a lot of stuff I need to hell I want a long rest I want a long rest man because we just can't long rest we can't long rest right now we're gonna have to go because I wanted to expend some more dialogue since we're doing stuff you know but if we long rest all these people are gonna come back up unless I just kill all them people I could just go and kill them I'm not killing the kids though and that's what's gonna make it hard so we can't do that technically he's still over there doing his thing I think what I'm going to do in here... What are we rolling for? I think what I'm going to... See, because there's a war drum up here. We're going to take this out. 
We can try to silence her again, like what we did with Priestess Gut, or just actually at this point, no. <laughs> Shovel is being rolled on for stealth. Karlak, or Shadowheart, get rid of that, and then put Hold Person on. Because we're going to have to hold Person here. The prisoner can keep his tongue. Can we still knock her out? Toggle non-lethal, we can. And that's what we're going to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this eye first. It's going to rouse people, and that's fine. As long as we get people hostile, I'm sure we can knock them out, of course. I'm going to kill this eye. I think I'm just going to pick it up with Karlak and fucking throw it down the chasm and, and, and just kill it. And then while we're in battle, I mean, we could probably take out this war drum and it's four. Like, and just shoot it with an offhand weapon. And take it out. And then, if we just kill this scrying eye, I think that's going to rouse people here and then we can just go ahead and knock them out. Knock them all out. Makes sense? Thing is, we're not going to be able to long rest any time during this mission. We're not going to be able to long rest at all. We, should, we need to long rest now, technically. We're not going to be a long rest afterwards because if we long rest afterwards when we go and get hauls in, when we deal with the last leader, all these people are going to come back. And then we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> and then Halls is going to be surrounded by enemies down there when we go down there. He might even be dead because they're all going to come back and fight him. So it's not going to work out. But anyways, that's the idea. We're either going to start this fight by tossing this thing down or just killing it. And then just going about knocking people out. I think that's the best bet. I mean, if you think about it, once we knock these people out, I think they stay temporary hostile just during that time. When they come back to life, they won't... They won't be hostile anymore. They'll be hostile at first. Or they might lose attitude towards us, but that's going to be it. But anyways, my friends, I'm going to save here. And when we head back, we are dealing with Minthora and her situation here immediately. And then we're probably going to just... I think I'm just going to kill this guy. I honestly think after we deal with Minthara and knock out all these people over here, I'm just going to go in here with Halzen in the party and just kill every all the ones in here. I mean, it is what it is. I wanted to be I wanted to play nice with the goblins in a sense, but <laughs> we're trying to save the grove anyway. And, well, I don't think there's no way around it. We could go in there and just knock them all out. I don't want to knock him out. I want to kill him. We could knock all these people out and then just kill him. That's a possibility. But I kind of want to get Halsen in and see what happens. If that makes sense. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a go and stay safe. See you next time. Take care.